Hello everyone. This is the latest and final version of my voltage control LFO. In the previous episode of my LFO build, I promised to fix a couple of issues with the design and also make a PCB panel for it. So here it is. The three main problems that I wanted to fix was the poor ergonomics of the front panel and the sync input didn't work as expected. I also made a PCB panel since I expect that most people prefer that instead of a 3D printed one. Anyway, the first task was to convert the level triggered input to an edge triggered input circuit. After some testing on a breadboard, I got something that behaved correctly. I made the adjustments to the design in KiCad, and after that I made a completely new PCB from scratch where I placed the pots and jacks first, and only after I was satisfied with the layout, I continued with the rest of the design. Next step was to make a PCB panel, and after that was finished, I made a quick check in Fusion 360 that everything fitted together. After that I produced the Gerber files and sent them to JLC PCB for manufacturing. That took a couple of days, and after approximately three weeks, I received the PCBs in the mailbox. Most of the components that I use are SMD type, mostly Serie 805, SU14, SUT23, but there are of course through-hole components as well. The build is pretty straightforward. Start with the SMD components, and after that you can proceed with through-hole 41-48 diodes on the top side. Next you populate the through-hole components on the component side, like capacitors and the header connector. Finally you add the jack spot switch and LEDs on the top side and use the front panel as a guide before you start soldering those components to the PCB. Testing and calibration is very simple. Check the power leads for shorts using a multimeter. Connect it to a Eurorack power supply. The expected current consumption is between 10 and 15 milliamps on plus and minus 12 volt. Check the output waveforms and adjust the sine wave shape using the trimmer pot on the back side. And that's it. And with that, this LFO project is completed. And you can find the schematics, Gerber files and bill of material on my GitHub. Link in the description as usual. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.